It's clear that the Bentayga is important to the brand, especially considering that Bentley has sold more than 20,000 Bentaygas since they launched it. So this is the big family-friendly Bentley. Depending on how big your family is, you can configure it as needed. These are available in four seat, five seat, and even seven seat configurations. I have never seen a seven seat version. I would find that would be hilariously ridiculous, uh, but what are you gonna do? The four seat would be opulently wonderful, and the five seat is pretty good. So powering the big bad Bentayga is a twin turbocharged four liter V8 makes 542 horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque and it is backed up by an eight-speed automatic gearbox and I didn't even look at what the fuel economy is because I really don't give a shit in a vehicle like this permanent all-wheel drive there's a center differential there's an open rear diff with a lockable E an electronic lockable rear diff it's open and it can be electronically locked that's what I was trying to say there are, I think, four on-road driving modes, four off-road driving modes. You can raise and lower the suspension, or you can just mat it. I pretty much drive this thing in sport the whole time. Uh, it turns on in Bentley mode, which I think is somewhere between comfort and sport. But I like sport. It's a little shoutier. The gearbox holds a little bit longer, and it is quicker to jump down when you do put your foot down. And this is a Bentley, this is a proper Bentley freight train of a vehicle where the torque just seems to build from the bottom all the way to the top. And, I mean, what do you expect? It's gorgeous inside. The quilted leather up here, the heated and ventilated seats, the steering wheel feels great. Everywhere you look is real material. You know, it's a Bentley, so this headliner is leather. Many cows gave their lives. To, get, to bring you this, this real metal, you know, the knurling around the uh, climate control vents is beautiful. The, the, and, and the inset of the clock, it's, it's just rather wonderful. There's a new, I believe this is a new kind of quilted looking pattern to the metal here on the panels in front of the passenger and at the top of the doors. It's comfortable, it's, Luxurious, it's totally a Bentley. And I do think they have greatly improved the outside of it because they've made it look more like the Continental GT and the Flying Spur, which got great design upgrades. The headlights look good, the taillights look fantastic, and overall that design language has translated well to the Bentayga, I believe. I know everybody hated the the uh, original one, the first one, or you know, they, they had their issues with the, the styling. It didn't bother me. I could see some angles were tough, but it looks much better now. It always drove well, it's just a big, brutish, luxury SUV, and it still does that. And there are more to come. There is a Bentley Bentayga Speed on the way, which will be the fastest one of the bunch. That one will have the six liter W12. And there is also a hybrid version come, which is basically Bentley's way into the world of electrification. I would love to see hybrid versions of their coupes and sedans, but it makes sense to start with the one that sells the most, so you can try to make the business case for hybridization in an SUV. You're gonna sell the most of these, so try to get a few of those customers into the hybrid version. You know, good luck, we'll see. Just go the other way and do a full electric something. A full electric Continental, Continental EV. Yeah, GTEV. GTEV, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm losing my mind here. Um, I mean, that is a great engine. This is a good gearbox in anything they're in, and it is no exception here in the Bentley. But when you are in the Bentley, it is, very quiet inside, C1 Corvette, beautiful. It is very quiet inside. The ride is very comfortable. If you put it, I, in sport, it's comfortable, but you can make the ride more exciting by juicing the bad boy up. Um, wait, in sport, it's comfortable. Yeah, you can make the ride even more comfortable by putting in comfort, is what I meant to say. It's a useful Bentley. I'm gonna borrow one of these for longer next time though because I wanna take this into the dirt and, and just be a real dipshit. There are modes to do that. It is wearing Pirelli, I think P0, like giant, not even Scorpions, I think they're actually P0s, 
22 inch wheels. So pretty useless for off-road, extremely useless. However, this has off-road modes and I would like to test them. Dear Bentley, let me borrow this again. I don't know what the base price of the new Bentega is, so I will look it up, do my job, and put it right here. I do know as tested, this absolutely gorgeously green one is $177,000, and I will put up a shot of the options that this one wears. The paint is fantastic. The interior looks great. It's like a really dark, Green, I believe like it looks black occasionally it looks blue but I'm 90% sure this is actually green um, it's hard to tell in this light. regardless this thing feels it drives better than it has any right to it about I think it's like 5,300 pounds so it is a, a you know luxury is heavy 22 inch wheels are heavy all-wheel drive systems are heavy all of that stuff adds up even more so when you're using real leather and metal and all that stuff so these you expect them to be heavy it's just then you couple it with a big bad forced induction motor and you can still motor it's amazing they've sold 20,000 I wouldn't have guessed that I mean I occasionally see them here in Orange County California I feel like I'm seeing more Lamborghinis though the Urus which is crazy because I don't know the sound system name audio with illuminated um, this illuminated badging on these speaker grills. The name audio system is wonderful. Pumping in this thing. I've been playing songs that probably the average older Bentley owner doesn't usually do, which ranges from the shit my daughter wants to listen to from the Disney Channel to Rage Against the Machine. This is not a Rage Against the Machine type of vehicle. This is the machine if you want one of these. But I'll do my part. I don't know what my part is. I don't have a part. I'm sorry. Luxury ass headrests. See how these fold in so you can just coddle. I'm just going to go this way for a bit. Mm, this is nice. It has massaging seats, of course, with a bunch of different functions. I think there's an actual person in there who scurries to work, and warms their hands up, and just gets to work on your back. I mean, it is a Bentley, right? want the full experience but here's an open stretch for me to uphill to for me to punch it for you it's like part throttle because I didn't want to scare these mountain bikers over here um, should have got your rides in earlier fellas it's already 12 I was done at 9 try to beat the hikers and the heat So the new Bentega draws its design inspiration from the recently launched and updated Continental GT and the all new Flying Spur. The face is familiar, the rear end is familiar, those tail lights and those headlights are part of the newer design language for the family and it is a great move, especially on the Bentega which was a good vehicle with some design challenges. I believe some of those challenges are solved, at least I feel they are. There's some fun Bentley descriptions in the press release for this vehicle. For example, the headlights. New intelligent LED matrix headlamp New intelligent LED matrix headlamp technology includes the signature Bentley design which is inspired by cut crystal glassware because of course it is. And then the windshield washers and then the windshield wipers. Heated wet arm windscreen wipers are introduced for the first time with 22 washer jets in each arm. So I think that means they want you to take this mudding. The rear track is slightly wider, which is always nice, thicker. Also new is the digital, also new is the digital driver information panel, which is similar again to the Continental GT and the Flying Spur. 